You know those photos where you've got a black and white photo, but then a small part of the photo is in colour? That's not difficult to achieve. I've got my original photo here. I've made it into a black and white photo. We know how to do that already. What I'm going to do is to put these two photos on top of each other and we're going to use a tool that allows us to sort of erase through the top layer revealing what's underneath for any area that we choose. We know that to put a photo on top of another one as a layer I just have to select that layer, Control A, I can copy it, Control C, and then on this photo here I can add a layer and paste it. So now here's the black and white layer sitting on top of the colour layer. And if I hide the black and white layer, it reveals the colour. Now, I can't put this colour background on top of this layer, and that's because by default, the original image, the background layer, is locked. So I'm going to right-click on that and duplicate the layer. And if I hide the original background, I've now got two layers, the black and white one and the colour one. I'm going to rename this colour. And I'll rename this BW. My black and white layer is now on top of my colour layer. So, I'm going to keep this as a black and white photo, but I only want a little bit of colour coming through. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a layer mask to this top layer. Here's my layer mask tool. And you can see it puts this white square here. So what it means at the moment is imagine that there is a piece of um, masking tape, if you like, a piece of post-it note paper over this entire image. Nothing is showing through. If I choose the eraser tool, and you can see here my eraser brush size is that big, that's pretty big. I'll leave it at that at the moment. If I click and drag here, you can see it's rubbing out this top layer. And you can see down here it's showing me which bits have been revealed. I'll undo that. So I can erase as much of this as I like. Now if I click the eraser and put the circle over here and hold the shift key down and click, it erases in a straight line. That's a little tip. And I'll do the same down here. I'll click and make my brush a bit just there and click. And now I'll need to make my brush a bit smaller. because I want to get in here and erase more carefully. Now, just as we've said before, I can zoom in. And if I hold the space bar down, I get the hand grabbing tool. And now I can go back to my eraser and keep erasing. So once again, click, hold the shift key down and click. And there's that photo. Not difficult to do at all.